all this is dr padma assistant professor department of physics institute of aeronautical engineering today's topics are insulated gate bipolar transistors commonly known as the icbt and mass controlled thyristor mct so insulated gate bipolar transistor in this we will discuss about the introduction of icbt basic structure and working of icbt icbt characteristics and applications of icbt so second one is the mass controlled thyristor mct so in mct we will discuss about the introduction construction of mct and working of mct and applications of mct so icbt is a new development in the area of power mosfet technology mosfet means metal oxide semiconductor metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor technology so icbt is a new type, type of development in the area of the power mosfet technology so this device combines into the advantages of power mosfets and bipolar junction transistors bjts so icbt is a new product in the area of the power mosfet technology so this device combines into the advantages of both power mosfet and bjt so icbt has the input high input impedance like mosfet and low on state power loss like bjt so bipolar junction transistors so icbt is free from second breakdown problem present in the bjt so icbt the device combines into the advantages of both power mosfet and bipolar junction transistors so, so icbt has the high input impedance like mosfet and low on state power loss it has the low power loss like bipolar junction transistors so icbt is free from the second breakdown problems present in the bipolar junction transistor so it overcomes the problems in the breakdown uh, breakdown problems of the bjt bipolar junction transistors so the basic structure of the icbt so this is the basic structure of the icbt the figure one shows the basic structure of the icbt so it is constructed virtually in the same manner as usual of the mosfet metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so here the pitot player is the substrate substrate is used as the base region this is the current path and metal layers so here this is the emitter this one is the metal this is the silicon dioxide sao2 is used so this is the gate terminal emitter so this is the gate and emitter so this is the gate voltage so it is constructed as usual uh, as like the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor however there is a major differences in the substrate so in icbt p plus layer substrate is called as the collector so in p plus layer is known as the collector substrate and and the collector is present on on the n layer so the collector is present on the n layer so the p plus layer the p plus layer is known as the substrate so p plus layer is known as the substrate and layer n layer is acting as the collector so on which n layer is epitax grown so the structure is similar to metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor here the p plus layer is used for the you uh, acting as the p plus layer is working as the substrate and the collector is present on the n layer so this n layer has the high resistivity layer so it has the high resistivity rho is the resistivity it determines the voltage blocking capability of the device so like a power mosfet and icbt has also thousands of the basic structure cells connected approximately on a single chip of silicon here we are using the silicon chip so like power mosfet the icbt has also the thousands of basic structure cells those are connected appropriately on a single silicon chip so figure 2 shows the circuit symbol of the 
ICPT. Here, this is the emitter, collector, and gate. This is the circuit symbol of the ICPT. So, it has the three terminals. Those are called as the collector, emitter, and gate. These are the three terminals. So, it is also a three terminal device. So, when the gate is made with the positive with respect to the emitter. So, here the gate is positive with respect to emitter and with the gate emitter voltage is more than the threshold voltage of the IGBT. So, here VTH is the threshold voltage. So, here the N channel is formed in the P region. So, the N channel is formed in the P region. So, electron movement in the N channel in turn causes the substantial hole injection from P plus substrate layer into N type layer. N type layer there is a epitaxial layer. So, it is epitaxially grown N layer. So, the IGBT can be viewed as the two transistors. Those are the PNP transistor and NPN transistor. Those are connected to back to back. So, here the gate is positive with respect to the emitter. Here the gate emitter voltage is more than the threshold voltage of the IGBT. The N channel is formed in the P region. So, electron movement in the N channel, it turn causes the substantial hole injection from P plus substrate layer into the N type epitaxial layer. So, the IGBT can be viewed as the two transistors. Those are the PNP transistor and NPN transistor. Those are connected back to back. So, the three layers P plus N and P constitutes the PNP transistor with P plus is emitter. P plus is emitter. N is the base region and P is the collector. This is the PNP transistor. So, here P and N plus layer constitutes the PNPN transistor. So, in NPN transistor, similarly, the N layer is emitter, the P layer is base and N layer is collector. So, the, P la the layer P serves as collector for PNP devices and as base for the NPN transistor. So, this is the three terminal devices. It is looking like the PNP and NPN transistors. So, when the collector is made with respect to emitter. So, the collector is made with respect to emitter. The collector is made positive with respect to emitter. Here it is a positive with respect to emitter. Then the IGBT gets the forward biased region. So, with no voltage between the gate and emitter, the two junctions between the N region and the P regions are reverse biased. So, that means here the J2 junction is the reverse biased. Then there is no current flow from the collector to emitter. So, it is, so, when the collector is positive with respect to emitter, then the IGBT is a forward bias. Then the no voltage between the gate and emitter, then the two junctions between the N region and P region, the junction J2 is reverse bias, then the no current flow from the collector to emitter region. Then when the gate is made positive with respect to emitter, that is VG, VG is positive with respect to emitter, the gate emitter voltage is more than the threshold voltage. Then the N channel or inversion layer is formed in the upper part of the P region beneath the gate. So the N channel short circuits the N region with N plus emitter region. So it is N plus is the emitter region. Electrons from the N plus emitter begin to flow and it can be drift from N plus region through the N channel. So, as IGBT is forward biased with the collector positive and emitter negative. Here the collector is positive and emitter is negative. So, it is a forward biased with the collector is positive and emitter is negative. Then the P plus collector region injects the holes into the N minus drift region. So, in short, in N minus drift region is flooded with the electrons from the P region and holes from the P plus collector region. So, with this, the injection carrier density in the N region increases considerably as a result. The conductivity of the N region enhances significantly. Therefore, the IGBT gates turn on begins to conduct the 
forward current IC. So these are the ICPT circuit diagram. So the circuit diagram is shown in the figure. It has the various parameters pertaining to ICPT characteristics. This is the uh, emitter, uh, collector emitter voltage and gate emitter voltage. This is the series resistance. So this is the gate voltage. So this is the equivalent circuit diagram of the ICPT. So these are the VI characteristics. So the voltage is taken on the X axis and the collector current is taken on the Y axis. So here the different voltages, those are gate and emitter voltage. Gate and emitter voltage for a different gate and emitter voltage. These are the VI characteristics. So the voltage is taken on the X axis and the current, the collector current is taken on the Y axis. So here the static VI or output characteristics of the, this is the N channel IGPT. So this is the N channel IGPT VI characteristics. So here the IC versus the collector emitter voltage. So this is the VC. VC is the collector emitter voltage and IC is the current voltage. These are the VA characteristics for the different gate emitter voltages. So the controlling parameter is gate emitter voltage. So here the controlling parameter is the VZ because ICBT is a voltage controlled device. So here the control parameter is the gate emitter voltage because ID, ICBT is a voltage controlled device. When the device is off, the junction J2 blocks the, blocks the forward voltage and in the case of reverse voltage appear across the collector emitter, then the junction J1 block it. So, VRM is the maximum reverse breakdown voltage. VRM is the maximum reverse breakdown voltage. So, the transfer characteristics of the ICBT is shown in the figure. Here on x-axis we are taking the gate emitter voltage. On y-axis we are taking the collector current. So, the, uh, the graph is shown like this. Here after the threshold voltage, the current is increases exponentially. Increases exponentially after the turn on voltage. So, this is a plot of the collector current IC versus gate emitter voltage VZ. When VZ is less than the voltage, threshold voltage, then the ICBT is in the turn off. Above the threshold voltage, the ICBT is in the turn on state. So, ICBTs are widely used in the medium power applications such as DC and AC motor. These are the applications of ICBT. So, it can be widely used in the DC and AC motor drives, UPS systems, power supplies and it can be used as the drives for the solenoids and relays and the con contractors. So, ICBT inverter induction it can be motor drives using 15 to 20 kilohertz switching frequency or finding favor where the audio noise is objection. So, at present, the state of ICBT of 1200 volts and 500 ampere rating from 0 0.25 to 20 microseconds turn off time. Here, the turn off time is 0 0.25 to 20. So, the operating frequency is up to 50 kilohertz are available. These are the main applications of the IGBT. Second one is the mass controlled thyristors which is commonly known as the MCT. So the mass controlled thyristor is a one type of the power semiconductor device. It has the capability of the current and thyristor voltage through the mass gated used for the turn on and off purpose. So it can be used for the turn on and off purpose. So it is used in the high power applications like high power, use frequency, low conduction and it is used in the further process. So these are the symbols of the N-type MCT and P-type MCT. This is the anode, this is the cathode and gate. So this is also a gate. Uh, gate. So this is also three terminal device. So here these two, uh, these two are the N-type MCT and P-type MCT symbols. So working of MCT. So it is the combination of the current and voltage. Current and voltage capabilities with the help of the 
mass gated so it is known as the mass metal oxide semiconductor controlled thyristor so so it is the combination of the current and voltage so it is the capability with the help of the mass gate so the mass gate is used for the switching of on and off state so this is the working of the mct this one is a mosfet is a turn on the mct so this is the main structure of the mct so here we are using the p channel mosfet this is the gate here we are using the oxide layer this one is the anode this is the n channel mosfet m2 this one is the m1 this one is the m2 p channel mosfet is m1 and n channel mosfet is m2 this is the metal this one is the cathode so by using the negative voltage pulse that device is turn on here we are using the negative voltage pulse we are using the negative voltage pulse to turn on the device with respect to the anode so the gate terminal is made negative with respect to the anode with the help of the voltage pulse in between the anode and the cathode here we are using the negative voltage instead of the positive voltage so working of mct as the mass control thyristor is switched on the on state in the starting stage the mass control thyristor is a forward bias it is a forward bias if the negative voltage is applied to the negative voltage pulse then the on mode fet is turned on as well as the off fet is made already existed in the off state so the mass controlled thyristor is in the on state if the starting stage the mass controlled thyristor is a forward bias when the fet is in the on state the current passes from anode through on fed then the passes through the base current and npn transistor of the emitter terminal and finally the current passes through the cathode and the process turn on the npn transistor the npn transistor act as a base current of the pnp transistor if the off fed is off mode similarly the pnp transistor is turned on if the both transistor in are in the on state and relating action state Phase, hence the MCT is in the on, so that is uh, acting as the switched on state. So equivalent circuit diagram is shown in the figure eight. So this is the NPN transistor. This one is the P P N P transistor. The, so this is the NPN transistor Q one, P N P transistor Q two, anode, gate, and P channel and N channel MOSFETs. So, so the circuit consisting of two MOSFETs transistors with the, the, those are N channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET. The P channel is used for the switch on fed and the N channel is used for the off fed. The circuit consisting of the two transistors, those are NPN and PNP transistors. So, if these two transistors are joined together to form the structure NP, NP, NP of the mass control thyristor, the P channel MOSFET is identified by the arrow which is connected from the gate terminal. So, applications of MCT. The applications of the MCT, MCTs are used in the circuit breakers. It is used in the high power applications like high power conversions. So, MOS control, metal oxide semiconductor control thyristors are used in the induction heating and UPS systems. It is also used in the converters like DC to AC converters and variable power factors operations are used in the mcts as a force committed power switch so it can be used as the power switch so mcts are used in the circuit breakers it can be used as the high power applications and high power conversions so mcts are used in the induction heating and ups systems it can be used to converters like dc to ac converters dc to ac converters and variable power factors operations are used in the mct to it is can be used as the power switch these are the references for semiconductor devices thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates